Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 3rd Edition for the PS1. I've heard of Martha Plimpton. And it's not George Plimpton. That's okay. Let's see what we should have gone with. Oh my god! Oh man! It was JD Salinger! I was just talking about um Will I add on to my seven game total of four hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars? Stay tuned and find out. How's it going guys? It's GemFan777 here, and this is my 8th game of my run for Who Wants to Be Making Their 3rd Edition for the PlayStation console. So, yeah, let's go for it. Just me? Thanks. No instructions, thank you very much, Regis. Hey, how about giving me your name? How about I give you another name? I think, I've already used Nino, and then I used Adrian, and then I used Marinette. So that leaves Alia. Here we Rather go. a fast name to put in, but whatever. Okay, Tricks, let's play. Let's pounce. And I'm playing this game on an emulator, by the way. Let's take a look at your first question. Here you go for a hundred bucks. I need at least thirty-two thousand bucks in order to avoid having to do a redemption video. So here we go. According to the lyrics of a 1988 bet, uh, I think it's pronounced Betty Midler, Milder, I don't know, <sighs> song, You Are the Wind Beneath My What? Wings? Clouds? Glider? Or Hair Dryer? You Are the Wind Beneath My Hair Dryer. Want to go ahead I'm and just make kidding. that your final answer? It's, you Are the Wind Beneath My Wings, and yes, it's my final answer. Okay, A it is. Oh, it is right. Betty Midler. Or is it Bet Midler? I don't know. Some singers' names are really hard to pronounce. Well, that's a cool C note for your first question, but don't get smug. You're gonna get a lot harder than that. Alright, for 200 bucks, here we go. In football, which of these items has laces? In American football, not UK football. Like, you know what I mean, the soccer. Uh, kicking tee, the scoreboard, the goalpost, or the football. That is D, the football itself, and yes, that's my final, final answer. answer. <clears throat> well, you think answer D is a winning choice, but... You are so right. Yes, I know I'm right, Regis, so be quiet. You're on the board with two hundred dollars. I still want twenty eighteen well, to take them. you do with the next question. Or well, Bob Barker, for that matter. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Three hundred bucks. According to a dish, uh, uh, according to a well-known saying, revenge is a dish best served how medium rare, cold, on a bed of lettuce, or with a side of fries. Everybody knows that revenge is a dish best served with a side of fries. You're fine with that. <laughs> okay. Best served cold. Anything meat related is best yes, served with a side of fries. Like, you give me meat, I'll expect fries with it. Three down, but 12 to go. And here's your next question worth $500. Here we go for half a grand. What does the letter IBM stand for? Uh, what does the letter I stand for in the computer company name IBM? Information, international, industrial, or infrastructure? You know, all these years and I don't know. <laughs> I think it's industrial, but I'm gonna see what one of Reese's okay. friends has to say about that. Let's call my stockbroker on this one. Prudence? Prudence is an expert on this subject. Oh God, I think she's even dumber than Maureen from the second edition. Hey, Prudence, it's Regis. Oh, hello. Because in the second edition, Maureen got the answer wrong more times than anybody else yes, on and off the camera. All right. what do you need to know? Here we go. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, as long as I've been Smart keeping track. Call me on this one. I've been following that company for quite a while. This is one you of know, your her voice kind of reminds me of um, Blanche Devereaux from the Golden Girls. International. Bye now. Sure, Regis. Goodbye. Okay, Prudence. Prudence pick B. Would you Here like we to go. follow her advice? 
I'm gonna trust you, Prudence. If you're wrong, Cat Noir knows where you live and he has your husband. Thank you, Prudence, you saved me! Hey, that's $500 and you're doing great. One more and you're at the first safe haven of the game. Let's play. Yes, I know. I got butterflies in my stomach right now. Then again, it's only the fifth question. In the lyrics of the song, As Time Goes By, from the 1942 movie Casablanca, a kiss is just what? Romantic? A kiss? A treat? Or for lovers? I think it's a kiss. A kiss is just for lovers. You think answer B will work out? Does up. not sound right. Or a kiss is just romantic. Or a kiss is just a treat. You got it. It is a kiss is just a kiss. Thousand bucks is mine. Terrific. That's five questions in a row for one thousand dollars. But look alive. Here I'm looking is. alive, for $2, Regis. Thousand dollars. Here we go. Two grand. I am guaranteed some money, just not enough. I need at least thirty-two. In the 1981 movie *Chariots of Fire*, one athlete refuses to complete to compete for the religious reasons on what day of the week? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? That's D. Sunday. Final answer. Well, you think answer D is a winning choice? Fine. It's gotta be D. That's right. Yeah, it is D. Because if you ask the audience on this one, it's a tie between Saturday and Sunday, and it sure as hell ain't Saturday. By that I mean I knew it wasn't Saturday. Six down, nine to go. Six down, nine to go. For four grand, here we go. Question number lucky seven. In a chess set, what piece traditionally has a cross at the very top? The queen, the bishop, the knight, or the king? That's D, the king, and yes, it's my final answer. Are you sure that's your final answer? Yeah, the queen has a crown. The knight is basically a horse. I'm not sure what the hell is what at the top of a bishop. A I don't know what that fun. thing is. When you're right, you're right. I know I'm right, Regis. <sighs> All right. I am so nervous right now. Well, that's four thousand dollars, and now here's a chance to make it eight thousand. Take a look at this one. All right, here we go. Eight grand. Crazy ass question. It's worth eight grand. I'm on the eighth question, and I'm eight away from a million. Which of these states does not share a land border with Michigan? Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, or Ohio? I don't believe. I think it's Indiana. No, I think it's Wisconsin. I'm gonna ask the audience on this one. It's not Illinois. Let's see what the people have to say. Okay, they're gonna say Wisconsin. 40 for that. 18 for uh, Illinois. No 20 there. for Indiana. And 22 for Ohio. Answer. I'm gonna say Wisconsin. I don't think Voting it's Illinois. Percentages. Okay. Please, please be right. Curse you, audience! That is incorrect. Here's the correct answer. Oh my god, it was Illinois! I gotta do a redemption video, but that's not my fault. I was gonna go with that anyway. Hey, way to go. You finished with the highest score of the night. Yeah, sure but it wasn't enough. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank Who you for watching anyway. Remember to subscribe Very for guaranteed edition. videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern to Pacific. And, um... Yeah, you can always catch my videos as they're streaming, as a live stream, via YouTube premieres. I mean, as they're released via YouTube premieres. So, yeah. And before Michael W. 1999 asks, I'm not sure when I'm going to do my redemption video, but it's coming definitely, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye.